This is Scott Rowett at Wrenchit, and today we're going to show you how to install a backrest on a Harley Davidson Touring model. All right, first thing we're going to do is uh, remove the saddlebag so we can take the uh, passenger strap off to get the seat off. Okay, and then we're going to take the uh, passenger uh, hand hold or hand strap off. That will let us get the seat off. Okay, when you uh, when you get ready to do this, the first thing you're going to have to have is the actual mount that the uh, that the backrest slides into, and this is really the the, the, the most the, the biggest part of the job is putting this on. You're going to want to leave everything loose because uh, when you get this on the bike, you may have to adjust it because you can you can adjust it in four positions, front to back, to push it closer or further in into your back or out from your back. Remove the uh, ECM module so that we're going to be able to be able to mount this onto the, the, the bike. Okay, in order to get the ECM module out, um, we do have to disconnect this wire because you can't pull it off without with this one on. So there's a little little clip back here. So you just pull push that clip down, slide it off. Then underneath the actual plug, there's a little clip and you push down on it with a screwdriver and just slide it off. And then when you take these bolts off, we can lift it up. Okay, then we're just going to remove these two bolts and that will allow us to uh, get our ECM module out of there. With this being off now, you can lift your, your ECM module up. We don't have to take it all the way out. Uh, we're not doing the battery or anything like that. What we have to do is get to these two holes because we're going to have to put some bolts with nuts through here that holds the uh, backrest on. All right, then we're going to take these two nuts off uh, because this is the, uh, the, the rear support. Uh, I need a deep socket for that. They come off pretty easy. Okay, and at this point we're ready to put our rider's backrest mounting kit on. Okay, so we're going to start by putting the, uh, the lower part of this um, backrest mount on. You just take one of, the, one of the screws and nuts, put it through to hold these two pieces together. The reason I'm doing this is because once this is on, this part actually doesn't move. It's the back rest uh, holder that will move back and forth, and that will give us the ability to adjust it to our comfort level. So we've got these two holes in the frame. We've got these two holes in this little L bracket. And uh, Oops, wrong bar. There we go. And we take, our, our, we take two bolts. I'm going to do one at a time. And I think we'll probably need to reposition the camera before we continue. Okay, so we're just going to take that and put it in. We move the camera around. Take your nut, and it goes on the bottom side. I, there's no way I can put a camera on here to show you putting that nut on. Uh, but we put both of these bolts on with a nut. Okay, so then we're just going to get a, a 7 16 wrench on here on the bottom and uh, tighten this up on there. I'm not going to tighten it completely at this point uh, because I want to be able to uh, possibly move it around just for some fine, finite adjustments. There we go. So at this point, it's... Uh, it's tightened enough where we can put the bracket on and uh, begin adjusting it. Like I said, we left this loose so it can move around. Then we're going to take our bracket, and this is why I left it loose because we got different positions here depending on where you need it to fit your back. So you can move it all the way up that far forwards or that far backwards. And of course, that's why you'll need this loose so that you can uh, adjust it accordingly as you move this back and forth. I do have the bolt on at the bottom here just to hold it in place. Um, at this point, I really don't have any idea where I need need this to be to, to have it adjusted at whatever comfort level I need. So I guess for now, I'm just going to start right here. This is the second one from the back, so that's going to push it uh, further forwards. And I'll just put this uh, nut and bolt on loosely. And this is going to give me an idea of where I need to have it. Put these these bolts back on. 
I'm just going to put them on finger tight. That way it is kind of kind of tight and uh, I can put the seat on now and put the backrest in and see how it fits. Okay, I wanted to show you this before we put the seat on to start adjusting. This is a Harley backrest. Um, I actually bought a, a third party one and it was junk. It was crooked on the, uh, on the bracket and the actual backrest sat crooked so I returned it and went ahead and invested the money in a, in a genuine Harley one. Uh, sometimes it pays off to get uh, Harley parts. But this backrest anyway, you just squeeze in and that's how you get it into, into position. And you can move it into three positions up and down. So when I put the seat on, I wanted you to understand how I was putting the backrest in through the seat. And now we're gonna put the seat on. So we put the seat on. Okay, so we're just gonna open the seat up, compress it, and slide it down into one of the notches, it just depends on where you might need it. And then we're gonna get on the bike and see how it fits. Okay, so I'm gonna get on the bike. Um, for me, that feels too high. I'm gonna go ahead and lower it. Um, I may move it up forward too. So we just compress those little buttons, slide it down, and I made it lower. I like the height. I need, I'm gonna try moving it forward a little bit more though. Like I said, this is just gonna be an individual thing where it's comfortable for you and you know the ergonomics that you need to, to make it work. But to do that we take these off. That's why we left this loose. And I can move it forward again and then put it, put it back together. There it goes. And then we can try it again. Okay, so I found a position that was good good for me. So now we're gonna get our wrenches on here. We're gonna tighten everything up completely. Then we're gonna tighten this bracket up as well. And then we're gonna tighten this bracket on onto the uh, the lower bracket onto that upper upper bracket. Okay, and then finally we'll tighten these two nuts as well, and uh, that'll finalize our installation of the. Uh, bracket system that holds the backrest into place. Okay, so now we got to still put our ECM module back in. Make sure you're, uh, this, this pigtail is out of the way. Um, you pull it all the way out like I did. There's a clip down here at the bottom. So you're going to want to make sure you slide it into that clip. Lay it back down on there. This little notch or groove goes into this, this notch. You slide it in from the front. It'll click. And then slide your pigtail back on then we'll take our two bolts and these will go on there and we will tighten those up so we'll just tighten these we put the seat back on I'm not going to go through this really this is a then put your passenger hand strap back on or, or handle back on then your saddle bag and then we can put the backrest on okay so we got everything put back together seat passenger hand strap saddle bag take our seat Push the sides in, slide it down. I like to the lower position myself. And then you can take the, you can take the little leather part here and stuff it down in there if you want. Okay, the last thing that you can do, there's one more adjustment, and I'm gonna pull the, the cover off for you. There is a, uh, there's an Allen nut or bolt right here. And I actually put a little, a little grommet in there and you can take an Allen wrench and put it in there. And what this does is it adjusts the, it adjusts the tilt of the top of the backrest uh, to be able to uh, push it into your back or back it off however you need to. So that's just one more adjustment that you can make to the backrest as well. Okay, so that's how you install a backrest on a 2015 Streetwide Special. Uh, should be about the same for most touring bikes. I uh, appreciate you subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and visit my website at rideatwrenching.com.